in 2010 as a way of marking the second anniversary of my priestly ordination. I came out with a music album, a collection of some of my liturgical music compositions. I know some of you have copies of the DVD and some have seen it either on Facebook or YouTube. It is titled Songs of Victory by Father Emmanuel I. Ochibo. During the preparatory stage, my friend who was the director of the video, after supervising the rehearsals for a few times, asked to know what facial expression I expected to get from my audience when they watch my video. I told him, smiling faces of course. He then said, if you need smiles from your audience, give them enough smile while you sing and dance. I remember vividly how challenging it was for me to sing, dance and smile at the initial stage. At some point, I focused on the singing and dancing while I forgot to smile. At other points, I remembered to smile but forgot either the correct dancing steps or some lines of the song. Difficult as it was, I kept practicing until I could sing, dance and smile simultaneously. If you need it, give it out. The three readings for today's Mass teach us generosity in a way that comes across as paradoxical. That is, if you need something, give it out. Three important figures in the three readings gave out what they needed the most. In the Gospel passage, the poor widow in her poverty gave out the last two coins she had to live on. In the second reading, Jesus Christ, who needed life for himself and for us, sacrificed his life on the cross. In the first reading, the widow of Zarephath gave her last bread to the prophet Elijah. After giving out what she needed the most, the widow of Zarephath did not lack any food as the prophet foretold. The poor widow in the gospel passage, after giving all she had to live on, gained divine recognition, which always carries along all that we need. Christ sacrificed his life, but he gained it back along with our salvation, and he was glorified above all else. Like Paul will write to the Philippians, chapter 2 from verse 3 to 11. And because he did this, he has been exalted above all else, and given a name above all else, that at the name of Jesus every knee must bend, and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. If you need it, give it out. There is that human instinct in us to keep what we need to ourselves. But experience continues to show that what we keep, we end up losing, and what we give out, we gain in hundredfolds. It is not uncommon to hear people make such complaints as, My husband does not love me. My wife does not respect me. My colleagues do not care about me. My neighbors do not listen to me. The message today is, Give out that which you need from people and see how it will be multiplied for you. Respect, they say, is reciprocal. If you need a hug, try to give one out. St. John of the Cross is noted to have said, Where there is no love, put love and you will find love. Talking about his ultimate sacrifice, Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, 
Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. John chapter 12 verse 24 While teaching on generosity, Jesus also said, Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. If you need it, give it out. Let us take a lesson from the digestive system. In few days, we will gather for Thanksgiving dinners. Imagine how well decorated the tables can be on that day. Assuming your eyes decide to keep admiring the food on the table and refuse to release it to be eaten, the entire body will die of starvation. But if the eyes are generous enough to release it, then the entire body will be nourished. On the part of the mouth, if the sweetness lures the mouth to keep the food for days without swallowing it, it will decay in the mouth and the whole body will fall sick and eventually die. It is by chewing and swallowing that the whole body is nourished. Similarly, the stomach must be generous to release the food for digestion and excretion if the entire body must be nourished. The principle remains the same. What you release is what you gain, but what you keep is what you lose. A parishioner came up to me and asked, Father, you seem to put so much into the Masses you celebrate. How do you replenish all that you dole out at Mass? I did not expect that question. But after thinking about it for a while, I said, I refill myself by saying more Masses. It sounds funny, right? But let's try something. The Lord be with you. Now you just responded, and with your spirit. Remember, I gave you one, and you all contributed to give back to me. If I had kept that to myself, it would have remained one unexpressed wish. But because I am here to celebrate this Mass, I wished you just once, and I got back as many as all of you who responded. When a young man decides to become a Roman Catholic priest, it is common to hear concerned relatives and friends lament. What a shame! He will not have children. I thought that was true. I believed I had sacrificed being a father by my ordination. But as soon as I was ordained, I could not count the number of my children. It was very fulfilling when after my first Mass at my home parish, parishioners came greeting me. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Father. Congratulations, Father. And my mother also came along and greeted. Good morning, Father. I turned to her. I placed my hand on her shoulder and I said, Good morning, my daughter. How are you doing? I thought I had sacrificed through my ordination being a father, but God gave me more children, including my parents. When I came to this parish, I discovered that you were also addressing me, Father. Then I took my phone and I called my family and friends back in Nigeria And I said, guess what? I also have some white children here in San Diego. If you need it, give it out. We pray on this Veterans Day for those who sacrifice their comfort for others to be comforted and to be comfortable. Those who give what they needed We pray also for their loved ones, for divine reward. 
Permit me to conclude with the second half of the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi for peace, where he says, O Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, and to love, to be loved as to love with all my soul. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. If you need it, give it out.